hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. To the Empire of Italy and the continuation of the Italian campaign with none other than Emperor Centul, the scholar of Italy, our current reigning ruler, uh, who will then be succeeded by Prince Rinaldo, who's got a fairly decent si uh, sized duchy in the middle of Ghana. So hopefully he'll be doing all right. Um. He's a brother... what's he got? Yeah, we're not bothered with that. The Holy Roman Empire is kind of my main competition at this stage. Oh dear. Looks like we're going to have to give him a little weak hook. Which is slightly annoying, but... It is what it is. England. Can we, uh possibly get any decent claims against you. Three earldoms. Uh, where's... Essex is here. Shropshire is here. Where's this place? Oh, on the French mainland. He's got an ally in Upper Lorraine. And Wales. Which could be a little problematic for us. Out of interest, how many troops would I get if I was to summon from here? About 1,200 men at arms, so about 1,500. Which is roughly his contingent. Yeah... It's not, not going to be an easy war for us, but it is something we can go for. We could also have a look against these guys. King Duff's got a big claim there. Vittorio came to me complaining about Renault bullying him. Uh, I don't mean to be craven. Just be arbitrary then. I guess you're being educated, yeah. Call to war from Thessaly against a couple of folks, that's fine. Faction-wise, there's a little independence faction, but nothing too much going on. So in that sense, we're good. Bloody hell, the Pope's got a lot of money. Uh, how are we doing for buildings? Do I have any land in Africa? I don't think we do. I've got these places in France. I guess we'll try and just continue to build them up for now. Paris. Uh, let's keep building this up as well, because that's going to be a good bit of income for us. Okay, so England... Has, Mercy is independent. Um, it's two counties at the moment. Staffordshire is also independent. What about the island of Iceland? Nothing going on there. I can declare war against the Pope for pretty minor seats, to be honest. It would cost me a lot of piety that I do not have. Where are you based, my man? Yeah, I don't want to go to war with you. Wales is also a problem. Byzantines is also a bit of a problem. So really, England is going to be our best bet, and we're just going to have to sink some cash into it. If 
If he's got 1,500, I think it's doable. No chance of getting him killed. Are you stealing more land from me? Yeah, you are. It's kind of annoying. But to be honest, there's not a lot I can do about it unless I just destroy the papacy. I mean, he is a little weak. This is something we could go ahead and do. My only slight concern is someone joining. What would it take for you to join me? You just wouldn't be willing to do it. Holy Roman Empire, they're too big. Unfortunately. They're a bit too strong. Maybe we just go for Africa. Because I guess if we can get it, then... It's pretty easy pickings for us. Go on, go for that. Call up our son's duchy troops. Hopefully it won't take them too, too long to develop and muster. Alright, we've got all of our kings on board. None of them are particularly great, but that is what it is. Who have we got as allies? What I really need is for the Pope to just not declare war against us, but... Hey, that's a thing that's probably not going to happen. Oh, you're sieging me over here, aren't you? Okay. That's fine. How long is your siege going to take? 16 months. I think we'll be pretty far ahead of you by that stage. New Chancellor to be appointed. The King of Croatia will pop him in because he's also quite good. You are interested in probably ruling the realm because you've got good diplomacy and stewardship. Good, that worked. Okay, on to the next one. We can create another man at arms, which I think needs to be another armoured horseman unit. It's gonna cost us a lot, but it's worth doing. We don't need another cross, another archer unit, to be honest. We've got crossbows now. So the man at arms is something we need to try and just sort. I think if we do that and then we take the capital, that'll be it for the war. Renewal of patronage, funding f natural philosophy. That's quite good. We're making good cash, so that's fine. 
King Duff is not really the best for us, but it's okay. That's another 50 gold. That's another 100 gold. And that's another 100 gold as well. So that's paid for our philosophical patronage. Now, who did we capture there, and are they worth anything to us? Seiko for 50. I'll do it. I'm not sure if that's going to make me go under the war score. We'll have a go. Yep, it has. That's fine. We'll keep sieging. Because it's also going to be ticking up for us, so... It's not a problem. I can ask the Pope for some gold. And go and take one more county and we should be A-OK. -okay. It's not going to take us long. quite GG. I had hoped that would be. Gregarious is good to get that. Awesome. That's done. Fourth the demands there. So we picked up three more counties and the Duchy of Sila, which we will usurp from this chat. And give away, give away to another son. Why not? I don't particularly need it. So that's gained us a little bit more land. How is England doing? Looking a little bit weaker, but now our allied to Lancaster. But I'm not too, too worried about that. Barris, let's upgrade your fortress. Let's continue to upgrade you. You're all good. Uh, Arezzo was upgraded, so that's going to put you onto your last... last level. Can't quite do this, so that's for the future, Sienna. Upset peasants, I uh, don't particularly want that. I got anything that could lose me any stress? Not currently. I'll take the hit. I don't want to get any bad traits, so... We'll stick with what we've got. You're excommunicating my vassals, Pope. So Staffordshire is facing an East Anglia war. Ah, East Anglia actually answers to us. That's quite good. Hopefully they might win then. Is there potential for us to go to war with the Helias? Oh no, they're currently uh, dealing with revolts, so that's not going to happen. Wadan, I can't declare war on. What about Mali? We can get three there, or we can get oh, quite a lot here. Let's do that. War with the Mali. And we definitely need to host a feast. Quite a sizable independence faction. 
think after this war, we need to stop expansion because we are doing a little bit of rapid expansion. Peasant rabble, okay. I kind of want to spend the money and make sure everyone likes us, so that's what we're going to do. Because at this point, that's what's most important for us. Okay, good. We're getting friendships with people. That's excellent. What's your main gripe? Want seat on the council? Want taxes? Put you back down to normal. What's your annoyance? No alliance is powerful clan vassal. I don't know what that is. Do you want a marriage then between our families? I mean... Is that what you want? I don't really know. Well, let's get the troops together as quickly as possible. Defeat the Mali, ar the Mali army. And we should be good. I mean, he's at full, so there's not much I can really do to swap him out. Let's see if we can get these guys. And it's the king himself that will be fighting. And we took him hostage, so let's just take the land. Be done with the war. Um, and this is all one duchy, isn't it? So it's quite a big duchy. I think what we'll do is grant it... To Vittorio, you're not quite old enough, but I could just give it to you. I'll give you these three and make you a duke, and then I'll give this to someone random so you can have a half decent vassal. This to someone random. And this to someone random as well. Uh, this guy. He's quite good. There you go. And then I need to transfer you because otherwise they're going to be cheesed off. There you go. And the independence faction's down, which is great. That's a nice little bit of expansion in Africa. Let's call this hunt so we're lower on stress. I might be facing a rebellion shortly. I want to upgrade Sienna. And I just want to keep an eye on what's going on in England. Which looks to be like they are losing that war, which is good. We want East Anglia to win. What about England? England's not doing much. Wales, not got much going on either. Uh, the Holy Roman Emperor is looking quite good. Unfortunately for us. Wow, look how big Jerusalem's got. Jerusalem has done quite well. Looks like the Byzantine Empire's got... Oh no, they're doing quite well. Emperor Marcos is pretty well ruling there. 
How are our buildings going? Paris has nearly built that up. That's good. We've lost our base, which is great. Siena's building. Arezzo is good. Florence is done. So that's all good. I've got a bunch of kings in Spain. Kings and queens. War with you would gain me quite a number of places as well, but I haven't got enough piety now. I'd rather take the hook. So if there's an opportunity for us to go on a pilgrimage, which there is not going to be, maybe we can build a church somewhere. Let's build a temple. Because that piety is going to be nice and useful for us. I'll also build a city here, I think. Or a castle. city. Oh. Okay. That just happened. It looks like Lester's just declared war on us. Can call in all my allies though, because it's a defensive war. So I think he's going to regret that. You got Timio. You've actually got a lot of troops. Where's your capital? not have actually summoned my troops in the best spot here. I think we're going to need to do it in dear old Alba. Otherwise we'll have problems. So what's he going for? He just wants the Earldom of Staffordshire. Okay. It's going to take me a little while to get my troops together. Apparently an age. But we are going to have a tremendous amount of force to attack him with. As soon as we can. So he's got 30k. Just give me enough for 30. That'll do. Because I think we should have superior troops anyway. Plus our allies. Vittorio has come of age. Congratulations. He's actually turned out very well. Or 
Right. Let's go and kill the enemy. I've got a shed load of prisoners to be ransomed. We lost Stafford, so we need to take that back because that's the actual war girl of this particular party. Sorry to you English troops, but you are going to get killed. We're going to slaughter you. Unluckily for them. We'll take back Staffordshire. Where is this chap based? Down there in Leicester, okay. So he's not even far. take back the lands that he has unfortunately taken from us. So we're now long, no longer married. We need to pick someone up that's got good skills. This girl's pretty damn good. She's got good learning. Uh, She won't convert for me. Let's see if we can romance her. Write her a poem. She doesn't particularly like us. So that siege has been won. And now we're going to take Leicester. My granddaughter can get married. Any chance of an alliance? Republic of Pisa? Go on then. That siege is going to take us a while, but that's okay. up the walls and towers. I need you to like me. Right. That's going to be that for this war. He's going to have to pay us a shed load of money. So thank you for that. I'm sure you probably weakened your king's levy count now. It's only sorry that remains independent. Disband the troops. Perfect. Well, we got quite a lot done there. Still, England's a bit of a mess. The Holy Roman Empire is dividing up my empire, but we're doing quite well in Africa. I think war with these guys would be the next step. Nice, easy expansion for us. How are we doing health-wise? Still fine, which is good. We've got a good court physician. Our son's doing well. In fact, I think all my kids are doing fairly well. Yeah. So all in all, not too bad. If you're enjoying this series, then please do consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It really does help us. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.